Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is a video all about using chalk for outdoor play. I'm going to show you how to mark out some games at home in your backyard. I'll start with games that you don't need very much space for, and then I'll introduce some games where you need more space to play. So these might fit in your backyard, or they might work better in an open public space. First of all, I'll show you some of the materials you can find at home to help you mark out chalk games. You'll need some chalk, of course. If you don't have this at home, you can get this in art shops, office supply shops, and some supermarkets. A ruler, or even something like a straight piece of wood to help you draw straight lines. The lids of plastic tubs and food containers can be very handy for drawing shapes. Some string to help you draw big circles. And cardboard and a scissors to make stencils for the more tricky shapes. Now that we have our materials, let's draw and play some games. Knots and crosses, also known as X's and O's or tic-tac-toe, is a fun game to play with chalk. Draw out a shape like this with two lines going down and two lines going across so that you have nine spaces. One player marks their space with an X and the other player uses an O. The aim of the game is to get three in a row before your opponent, either going across or down or diagonally. You can draw out a new game each time if you have lots of space. Or if you have less space, you can paint stones with X's and O's like I've done here and use these to play over and over on the same game. Long jump. For this game, you just need to mark out a series of lines. You can use a ruler to get a nice straight line and if you have paving stones in your yard, use these to guide you. A gardening glove can be handy for rubbing in the chalk to make the colour clearer and to make the chalk last longer. Make sure you have a starting point line and then take turns jumping to see how far you can jump. If you want to know exactly how far you've jumped, you could use a measuring tape and mark the number on the ground along with your name. Chalk racetrack for cars. You can also use the chalk to create worlds for us to play in. You could use chalk to make a racetrack for your toy cars, drawing in different roads, roundabouts, even a filling station, and take your cars on an adventure. Could you create a world for this guy, or this girl, or this fella? What toys do you have at home, and what magical world could you make for them with chalk? Target practice. You can play lots of games by marking out a target like this. To get a nice big even circle, you can use a piece of string. Tie a piece of chalk onto one end of the string, and mark a starting point where you will keep the other end of the string. Use the string like a big compass to draw a circle. You can lengthen or shorten the string to make bigger or smaller circles. Maybe get somebody to help you to hold the string in the middle of the circle to make it easier. Next, mark in the number of points for each section. Here I have 10 and then 30, with the bullseye giving me 50 points. You could use this target practice for jumping, or you can stand back and throw something at the target to try and win points. Here I'm throwing a wet sponge. It's wet so that I can see exactly where it lands and how many points I get. Mirror me twister. You can use a lid like this one from a peanut tub to mark out the circles. Draw out six circles of different colours on one side and then match these on the other side, making sure that they mirror each other. To play, take turns calling out a hand or a foot and a colour. For example, left hand green right foot orange. Try to choose an option that makes it easy on yourself but hard for the other person. The first person who falls is the loser. Shapes and colours jumping game. Draw out a series of shapes, triangles, squares, circles, stars or any other shapes you can think of in lots of different colours. Try to do different colour versions of each shape so that for example you don't just have all orange triangles. You could use lids of plastic tubs you might have at home to draw the shape. Or for any complicated shape, you could make a stencil out of cardboard. When you have all the shapes drawn, you can call out different colours or shapes for your buddy to jump on. Then they can call out a shape or colour for you. It's fun and tricky to try and switch your mind from looking for a shape to then looking for a colour. The floor is lava. Oh no, the floor is lava! For this one, I used a stencil that I cut out of cardboard. You can make one too by drawing and cutting out a fire shape from cardboard. 
Then draw around this shape and color it in in fire colors like orange or yellow or red. Next, draw circles of a different color for people to jump on to avoid the lava. You could also do a shark pool or what other scary things could the floor be? Use your imagination. Hopscotch. Next up is hopscotch. Mark out seven or ten squares like so. You can draw freehand or use a ruler to get a nice straight line and then write in the numbers as shown. People just love hopping on the squares like we're doing. These are just some games you can play with chalk at home. Maybe you can think of more games. Remember you can also get lots of ideas for games on Pinterest or YouTube. Have fun!